Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with me, Sabrina. This week I will be setting a bit of a challenge for myself and my challenge is that I am going to attempt to drink a gallon of water every single day for a whole week. This was actually largely inspired by one of my very best friends, Sarah. She has a YouTube channel also, which is called Mrs. Morrison, and I will link that down below for you so that you can go and check her video out. But she did this video where she drank a gallon of water every single day to see what the results were. And I'm not gonna tell you what the results were for her because you can go and watch her video and find out. But I'm thinking, you know, Water is so good for you. We all know this. We all know the importance of staying hydrated. Better skin, better overall health, functioning of the body, flushing out toxins, purifying the body, losing weight. There are literally like no end to the benefits of water. And I have to say, honestly here, I do not drink enough water. I pretty much drink my water in cups of tea throughout the day. And that's it. I mean, I do drink a lot of tea, but that's not enough. I'm not drinking enough water for sure. So I am setting myself this challenge of a gallon of water every single day. I don't actually have like a bottle that contains a gallon of water, but I do have like a big kitchen jug, which I will show you in a minute. So it's a 3000 mil jug and a gallon of water is four and a half thousand mils. So I know that I need to do the whole jug plus another half the jug every single day. And that's when I've got my full amount. So I'm gonna fill the jug up every day, drink it all down and then refill it halfway and drink the rest down. Well, that's the plan anyway. I'll fill myself throughout the week. I'll keep an update of how I'm doing with it. And I'm also gonna log how I'm feeling over it. Like whether I can notice any obvious changes. Um, and yeah, we'll just see what happens. I mean, who knows if I'll even manage to drink a gallon every day because that's quite a lot of water, but wish me luck. So I've just woken up and it's day one of my gallon of water a day challenge. So um, I'm gonna go and have some water first thing because I've got a lot to get through. And also because when I was pregnant, I remember my midwife telling me that having a glass of water first thing in the morning is like the best thing you could do for your body for that day. So um, I'm gonna go and fill up my jug and start drinking. That's my first jug of water and then when I've drank all of that I just need to do another half of that again so I'm going to get started. Okay so it's quarter past three and I have got that much left in here. Uh, and then I need to refill it back halfway and drink the rest of that. So, so far, I think I'm doing all right. I'm not sure why some of it has pulled in this bit, um, but I will make sure I drink all of it. But yeah, so, so far, so good. And I'm not really struggling to get it all down. I'm just struggling with having to keep peeing. <laughs> Ten to nine and I've got this much left to drink so I'm feeling very confident that I will be able to manage that this evening hi so it's now day two of the water gallon challenge um, so this is how I'm doing today. I've got this much left of this jug and then I need to refill it up halfway again and drink that. So, whoops. <laughs> so I'm gonna be honest, it is already the afternoon and I've definitely not been drinking as much as I should to get through this. Um, but I have to keep peeing constantly. So it's getting kind of annoying. And I will do it. I'm still determined that I will um, drink the rest of that by the end of today. thing is actually proving to be a little bit harder than I thought. On day one, I found it really, really easy for some reason. I was just drinking and drinking and drinking and getting through it really quickly. And day two, and now we're on day three, I keep forgetting to drink. And then I look into the kitchen 
see the jug and I'm like, oh yeah, I've still got all of that to go. <laughs> um, so I've not been doing as well. I'm still drinking it, but I'm not spreading it out as much as I should. I think I'm going big chunks of time without it and then like downing a load in the evening. Um, but you know, I'm still drinking the water and that's all that matters. I'm on my last bottle for today. All I've got is this left to drink and then I've done my gallon for today. Day five. Wait, is it day five? Uh, it is day five and I am drinking. So we're now on day five of the water challenge. And what is the time? It is quarter past 11 and so far that is all I've managed to drink. So I've still got to go all the way down and then another half. But it is still early and I'm still confident. I've been drinking tea all morning again. I just can't, I can't not have my morning cup of tea. I just can't. So I've been drinking tea all morning. I did weigh myself this morning because I do Slimming World Zoom sessions on a Monday evening and it's now a Monday. And so tonight, um, when I do my Zoom, my consultant needs to know my weight from this morning. So I did weigh myself this morning and I have to say, I have lost two pounds this week and I haven't changed my eating habits at all. I've kept my eating habits exactly the same as I usually would. I haven't eaten healthier because of the water. I've just kept it exactly the same. And I'm so far down two pounds and I still have two and a half days to go. So, I'm happy with that so far and we'll see what the result is by the end of the week. Wait. Better get topping my bottle up so that I've got plenty to drink. And get cracking with it. It is day six and so far so good. Um, and the need to pee has also massively decreased so that is a blessing. Hi everybody, so it is now the end of day seven and I have officially drank a gallon of water every single day for the last seven days. So um, as you can see throughout the week, uh, the main thing really was that I really needed to pee all the time, which was very annoying. Um, I didn't really feel overly different. Um, I didn't really feel like it gave me any more energy. Um, I didn't feel like it curved my appetite very much, which was a bit disappointing because that would have been nice. Um, but I have to say, I did feel bloated a lot, like constantly bloated throughout the week. Um, so maybe that's like part of curving my appetite, but I, I still feel like I ate the same as I would before. Um, as you saw before, I did weigh myself a couple of days ago and I lost two pounds. I haven't lost any more, um, but I also haven't gained any more, so that's really good. I'm quite happy with that, like two pound loss in a week. However, because I do Slimming World, I lose that anyway, like regularly in a week on Slimming World. So I don't know if it's the Slimming World aspect or the drinking lots of water aspect, but maybe they go hand in hand. I'm sure I'm sure it would have made some kind of contribution in that sense. Um, I didn't really feel any different in terms of my skin. I felt like, because I sometimes get quite dry skin on my face, like up here and here. Um, and I didn't really notice much difference, if I'm honest. It kind of um, still felt a little bit dry. And I was really kind of hoping that it would make a difference to that. But, you know, it has only been a week and I'm well aware that you need to continue drinking water for much longer than just a week to really reap the benefits. So I'm hoping that um, continuing to drink water will um, help with things like that as well. I will not be drinking a gallon of water every day going forward <laughs> because it was just really hard to get that much in. And I like to have other drinks as well, like cups of tea and I like a can of Diet Coke and like getting other drinks in as well as a gallon of water is just really, really difficult. So um, I definitely vow to continue drinking plenty of water every day, much more than what I used to, um, but I will not be drinking a gallon every day because it is just way too hard and I need to pee way too often. So anyway guys, that is it from my gallon of water a day challenge. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Stay safe everybody and I will see you in my next video.